Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, uh, joined by the victorious Joshua Boatsi. First of all, what a fight that was between you and Dan Aziz. Brilliant fight. Thank you, man. I haven't seen it, but um, it felt like it was a hard, hard and good fight. But um, it takes two, so again, big up Dan Aziz all the time, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, that 11th round, obviously, I know you addressed uh, what from the outside without watching replays, and I haven't seen the replays, but... I believe one of them was a slip and one of them possibly wasn't. In the moment, I felt like one was a slip. Um, even now, I haven't watched it, but I felt like one was a slip and one may have been a knockdown, but I haven't watched it back to you. That Dan Aziz, to be fair, in that 12th round, really kind of hung it in because you, you, were, you were putting on the pressure there and it looked at quite a few f- stages through that fight where you were going to get that stoppage or knockout win, but he hung in there. He's a tough guy, man. Very, very tough guy. There was a round two where I think I landed three big left hooks back to back and Dan wouldn't fall down. So, um, honestly, I tried, um, but he's a tough guy, man. And, and like I say, as much as people are giving me the spotlight and the credit for winning, I don't want to not put Dan in the picture as well. It took two of us. My last fight, I got a lot of critics for it. This fight, there's probably still critics, but I feel like it was an entertaining fight. But that's because Dan showed up, and I showed up. It took two of us to make it happen. Where does he run amongst the opponents that you face in terms of toughness? Yeah, Dan's number one, man. It was a tough fight. Um, We've had tough sparring sessions, but when the gloves are small and there's a crowd and and people are screaming, I couldn't even hear anything. I just knew I was in a fight. So um, Dan Dan definitely number one in terms of the toughest. It seems like this next phase of your your career is going to be exciting. I mean, there's talk of that, obviously... The winner of the uh, Better Be Evan and Bibble fight, there's Anthony Yard, that fight that us fans have been crying about. I've been talking to you about that for the last six years, that fight. Uh, We know he's in action very soon. But realistically for you, I mean, first of all, what do you think is going to happen? What do you want? Um, I I said prior to this fight, Hugh, that the winner is in a very good position because, of course, you become number one mandatory. So um, it's a good position to be in. Also, we live in England, we live in London, people want to see the yard fight, that's also a good position to be in. So, there's two options, Cube, and um, of course, the proposal has got to be made. I'll sit down with my team and, sit and, and see what they think, but um, I'm easy for either. If, if the unification is early June, I think it is. I'll, June the 1st? Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to be fighting around that time as well, so I don't see myself hanging about till the matches, the unification's over and they might do a rematch as well. So basically, I, I, I want to be active. How does that yard fight happen? How does it happen? It's an interesting one because we, we're not on the same network. Um, but I've seen I've seen people on different networks fighting each other now. Um, and it looks like the... What's the word I'm looking for? The... Um, I can't even think of the word, but basically Saudi is the place to be to make these fights happen. The promised land, Saudi, you know. So um, if it's going to be there, great. If it's going to be in England, great. But I'm sure Boxer and Sky and maybe Warren can sit down and talk. But Kug is a fight that I do want, want to happen this year for sure. We want to see it. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. huge yeah. fight. But after better be Evan Bibble fight, uh, you said, I'm sure you said in that press conference, said that you don't really care who wins that fight, as in the preference of who you'd want to fight. Yeah, I, I don't care. It's, it's a unification. So whoever wins is going to have all the belts. So my job is to go in there and to take those belts. So I, I, I don't really care who wins it. Um, I, and I almost said this in the answers that Viterbi. I think we'll win, but that's because his performance was re- more recent than Bivol's. So it's just fresher in my head. After Bivol fought, I would have said, yeah, Bivol will win. So it, it, it don't really matter who wins it. It was a final eliminator that I came out on top. Um, so I'm, I'm in a good position. How much of the best of you have we actually seen? Because I still think that we're not there yet in terms of what you actually can do. We're not there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning a lot. Um, I'm, I'm improving a lot. There's little things that I'm doing that Maybe the the ordinary fan may not notice, but there's little things that I'm doing. But there's so much more to learn. And I always said making this move to the States, it was because I wanted to learn more. Um, tonight I came on top, so I'm, I'm all good, man. And that relationship with Virgil is 
blossom, blossoming him as ever. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I feel like he's not happy with my performance, but he, he he doesn't say much after the fight till a few days' time. So when he goes back to the States and he's settled, I'm going to have to call him and, and get a debrief. But yeah, last time he was happy was when I knocked out Blotniks. <laughs> you saw he hugged, fight camp. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he hugged me in the ring. So that's the last time I seen him happy. But um, we got the win, which was the most important thing. I'm not going to take too much of your time. Um, appreciate your time all week, as yeah. uh, as always. And uh, congratulations to both of you, because it was a great fight. The arena here, yeah, to be honest, I've not seen this Wembley arena this kind of hyped and busy for a long time. So, Yeah, that's good to hear. I'm very grateful, man. I know there was a lot of people out here. There's a lot of shouting, man. So big up the fans. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, I know it's early in the year, spending your hard-earned money, but Dan and I promised that we put it on the line, so that's the least we could have done back to the fans. So thank you guys very much. Joshua Bavacci, thank you very much, and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Yes, Keith, thank you, man. Oh, Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.